This video is about the Cauchy inequality. Now, frankly speaking, I did not use much Cauchy inequality in my complex analysis course. I used it to solve some of definite integrals like 0 to infinity sin x over x dx and so on. We used Jordan lemma there and Jordan lemma is similar to this Cauchy inequality. So let's take a look at it and its proof. We, I will not go too deep into the proof because it's not that important. So it states that if fz is analytic inside and on a circle C of radius r and center z equal to a, then mod of f and a, this is the modified version of Cauchy integral formula. You can see f and a there is less than equal to m multiplied by n factorial divided by r raised to the power n where n is equal to 0, 1, 2, and 3 and so on. And here m is such that mod of fz is less than m and m is a constant. So now let's take a look at the proof. Proof is really simple. Just take the Cauchy integral formula, take the modulus of this and put mod of z minus a equal to r. Why r? Because in the statement the fz is analytic inside and on a circle C of radius r. We will convert it into the circular form. We will put z minus a equal to r and mod of z minus a will be equal to mod of, let me tell you it in him, equal to mod of r e raised for iota theta and mod of r is r and e raised for iota theta is cos theta plus iota sin theta and its modulus is 1. So we get mod of z minus a equal to r on a circle c and the length of circle c is 2 pi r because the radius of the circle is r and the 2 pi r is the parameter which is the length of the circle c. Now we will take the modulus of f and a. We take the mod of this, we get n factorial by 2 pi i. Mod of i is 1. This is how i is equal to 0 plus 1 i. And its mod is undoot 0 square which is 0 and 1 square which is 1 which is equal to 1. That's why we get a 1 in here. Here we take the mod of this and mod of z minus a is equal to r. So it becomes r n plus 1 and here mod of fz is equal to 2 pi r times m but not equal to. We said m is a constant such that mod of fz is less than m. So this whole thing because of this m is less than equal to this thing in here where m times 2 pi r. Now we will further solve it. 2 pi r and 2 pi gets cancelled. r gets rid of this one and we get this formula at the end which is mod of f and a less than equal to m n factorial divided by r raised to the power n. So this is how we prove the Cauchy inequality. So this was a short video on the Cauchy inequality. So thanks for watching this video and always remember that math is everything.